Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to improve usability of a web form with tab index and focus. Okay, so I've got a form set up, and it's, it's already got the basic elements that I want, pretend elements, of course, and I've already got some basic styling on there. Just so we can get a feel for how this form operates at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and click on my first text label, which will put the focus on my very first text box. It's hard to see, but my insertion point is in that first text box flashing there. And if I were to press the tab key on my keyboard, you can see it moves to the second text box. It's got a faint blue outline on there as well. Third text box, fourth fifth text box. Now when I press my tab key again, the focus moves over to my first checkbox. Tab to the second, tab, tab, and then when I press my tab again, it moves down to the submit form. But it's really tough to see the focus on there, so let's enhance that a bit with a focus pseudo class with CSS. So I've got my CSS over to the right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a bit on this. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new rule. This one's going to be for input, and I'm going to use an attribute selector for type equals text to get my text boxes. And then I'm going to do colon, focus, comma. I'm also going to do an input, type equals submit, colon, focus. So I want to draw attention to both of these two kinds of elements, the basically the focus state of my text boxes and the focus state of my submit button. And I'll just do something nice and obvious. Background color, FF4, nice bright shade of yellow. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now let's compare the difference. Now when I click on my first text label, you can clearly see, OK, so I've got that yellow focus. And as I tab through, I can see each tab box and now it moves over to the checkboxes, which I haven't done anything for. But when I get back to the submit form or the submit button, I mean, um, you can see that has a background color. OK, so that works pretty well. Now let's deal with the focus on these particular checkboxes. Now these I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to do an input um, type equals checkbox colon focus plus label. Let me zoom out a bit just so that's all in one line. So basically I want to style the label that's adjacent to the focus state of the checkbox. And I'll just do something kind of obvious here with an outline that's three pixels solid and red. So I'm going to save that. So now as I tab through my text boxes and I get to my first label, you can see for the focus state of the checkbox, the label adjacent to it has that red outline. And there we go. So that's basically changing the focus of form elements using that focus pseudo class. And it's pretty easy to do. And once I do that, I can tab through the focus or I can click on to put focus on a form element. Either way, I'll get that extra bit of formatting. And of course, there's other things you can do. Next thing I want to do is control the tab order. So currently, a user has to tab through all four of my uh, text boxes before they can even get to the check boxes. Well, let's pretend I've got a situation that I want these check boxes to get the focus and be the user's attention after the second text box. Now, by default, the tab order is going to be the order that those elements occur. So I've got my text boxes, and then I have this little extra field set for my check boxes. Now, I could rearrange the order, but that could cause some other problems, especially if I'm trying to do something fancy where maybe I only want these extra fields to appear if the user even needs the second text box. So I, I don't want to change my HTML order, but I do want to change the tab index order. So to take care of that, in fact, let me go ahead and bring the focus on this editor. What I'm going to do is put in some tab index attributes. So tab index, and I'm going to go ahead and default to 10 for now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab this, copy it, and paste it into all of my input fields. So I'm going to put them in my input type text, but I'm also going to put them in my input type checkbox. 
Now, whenever I'm working with tab index, I always like to go in uh, large chunks. So I'm going to do these 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Basically, the order that you set is going to be the tab index order, the tabbing order. Now, by putting in numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on, that allows me then to easily make modifications to something I add in after the fact. So, for instance, for my checkboxes, I can make these something like 22, 24, 26, and 28. So regardless of the HTML order, the order of the tabs will be based on this tab index attribute. Now when I head back to my browser, I can start off in my first text box, tab over to the second text box. Now when I tab, my first checkbox is active or in focus checkboxes. There we go. And then when I press tab again, I go back to my third text box, fourth, fifth, and then down to the submit form or submit button. So by changing the focus with a pseudo class, we can help draw attention to form elements that are in focus. And then we can use the tab index attribute and value to alter the sequence of the tabbing order of those form elements. Take care.